I'm just uh, upgrading my home theater computer and I'm going to install a dedicated, a dedicated graphics card instead of the onboard uh, Intel 4600 little graphics um, shared unit that comes with the i5 440 chip. Right, so here we go. I've decided to buy a NVIDIA little low profile card, the GT 1030, and I'm just going to do some comparisons and also uh, is buying a, a standalone card going to re free up some of the resources on the uh, i5 chip. So that's also what I'm going to um, check. Okay, so this is the uh, system I'm using. And here I have a video here. It's actually a, a 4K and it happens to be Bad Santa 2. It's a movie and you can see the file size is really big. So when I try and watch it, if you have a look here, you can see that Okay, we're not so worried about the audio. You can see that there I've loaded it up and you can have a look at the CPU usage. It's averaging quite high there. And let's look at the, yeah, ma mainly the GPU is what's really locking up this chip quite a lot. Let's see, it is playing it. I wouldn't say that it's uh, very smooth. You can see it's got a bit of jitter there but it is playing the video and you can see the CPU is pretty high. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to try and play it with a different software. Let's try Media, what's that, uh, Media Player Classic and it actually is worse, which is quite surprising because it has a considerable jitter with Media Player Home Cinema and there we can see in the background how much jitter. Let's just speed up ahead here. can see that it's got jitter and you can see that the CPU is literally locked up. Also the GPU is uh, is probably what's locking up this CPU because on board and it's shared you can see the memory utilization there 46 percent. Uh, let's see what else is look Cody is taking quite a bit there it is taking 300 uh, uh, megs but I'm not going to change that now we're just having a look here. Right so Ultimately, I'm not happy with the onboard graphics. And yes, if you do try and watch this through Kodi, here I'm going to launch Kodi, and there's the movie, Bad Santa. You can see it's in 4K. And when I press play, we're going to have a similar problem. You can see how it's, it's actually jittering. There we go. If I speed up ahead... can see how it is definitely jittering it's not viewable and uh, if we have a look at the resource usage here you can see that same problem it's just now that it's Kodi that is now taking 75 or 85 percent and there's the RAM obviously Kodi's uh, going to be now very hungry in order to process the uh, video stream here. Now just keep in mind I know there are some settings you can make uh, interlaced different shading and software and so forth on the Kodi settings it has made no difference to this video so even if I do go to the settings and change the the uh, graphics options it, it still doesn't solve the problem. Right so now what I'm going to do is I'm now going to install the the uh, in NVIDIA GT 1030. I'll just tell you a little bit about this chip. Here are the specs. I decided to go for a low profile because I'm using an in-win. It's called the in-win box. It's a really small box. And just to show you, look, this is a much more powerful uh, graphics card um, engine at well chip than the onboard uh, Intel. So it's not really fair to compare apples with bananas, but nevertheless, uh, this is also a review of the GT 1030 and also answering the question of if you have a standalone graphics card, will it free up the resources on your um, uh, chip, your uh, CPU? All right, so just having a look at the specs, two gigs onboard RAM, GDR5, 64-bit, and you can see that it can do uh, 4K and the card size is really small. And it says you're 300 watts, but don't be fooled. Uh, it, the spec here says, I think it's 30 watts. Yeah, so the the 
Intel is actually more power hungry at 45 watts. If we do compare these two, I will compare it shortly, but let's go and have a look at the actual performance before we start looking at specs. Let the performance be the, uh, um, the, the, the informer rather than the specs. Right, so here is the Gigabyte GeForce GT 1030, the low profile, and just to show you the box, it comes in a very small box. Okay, so there are the drivers, the card itself. Just remember, anti-static here. Don't be on a carpet floor when you do handle the card itself. Right, there's the card. It is really small. This is a low profile. Just give you an idea of the dimensions. If you're looking from the, uh, say, where your uh, card will actually slot in, it is literally 15.5 centimeters. So if you are really pressed for space, if you've got 15, 15 and a half centimeters, you're fine. And in terms of the thickness, you can see it's literally less than the actual faceplate itself. The actual thickness here uh, is, th but keep in mind, there are some, you do need to account for uh, the, uh, the chips, I mean the, electronics on that side so if you've got about 18 mils you're fine 1.8 centimeters now there is the HDMI and here is the DVI and that's it there's the card got a little fan here and you can unplug the fan with that I wouldn't recommend that and that you can just take that off and now I'm going to install it Right, now what you want to do is unplug the HDMI cable from the onboard uh, or the motherboard on, into the NVIDIA GT1030 and we may even make a BIOS setting adjustment and also disable the Intel graphics. So I'm going to do that now. Right, just having a look at the device manager, I have logged in here and I have what, what you do is you right click it and you'll just say disable. It is now disabled, the HD graphics is off. I'm now only using the NVIDIA GT1030. Let's have a look at how it performs. Right, there's the same video, the 4K. Alright, so you can see how the GPU of the graphics card has now handled the video processing. You can see how the CPU is no longer at that 100% or 80%. We can see how Kodi is still using a lot of RAM, but the uh, hard work is sent to the GPU. See, there we go. So the GPU is only sitting at 24%. The CPU is actually given uh, a break here so to answer the question if you add a standalone graphics card will it uh, free up the resources of the cpu the answer is a firm yes this is the same video which was not playing in in kodi and here we can see it's playing perfectly once we exported the uh, graphic processing off the cpu onto the uh, nvidia gt1030 and why you could also use an amd Card. The point is not whether it's NVIDIA or the Make. The point is, is that it's not part of the i5 CPU. It is now part of the 
uh, external graphics card. When I say external, I mean it's the standalone graphics card, which is now doing all the hard work. And let's just have a look and see if we do the um, other comparison, which we did earlier in terms of watching it directly from the folder. Let's just go there and see if we can pick that up. NAS, Bad Santa. Okay, so let's see the standard uh, Windows media, what's this, uh, Windows software to uh, watch it, and let's look at the utilization. Uh, it is lower than it was. You can see the GPU is now handling the, the work there, and uh, we can close Kodi. We don't need Kodi on now. Right, so yeah, there we can get a better comparison. You can see how little the CPU is being uh, utilized while the GPU is sitting at 25%. So also the GPU being very efficient there playing this 4K video. And out of interest, if we try and watch it using a different software, let's use the Media Player Classic and see if it will uh, actually play it without the jitter. Still getting that jitter. I'm not sure if it's just because it's uh, streaming through to the remote desktop. It might be the rendering on the remote desktop because I know that uh, Windows Media Player Classic uh, does play 4K. But just out of interest, let's look at the CPU. Oh, it's already, it's hit. Okay, so there is a problem there. I wonder what the issue, why it is. Maybe this needs to be 64-bit. I should actually install the 64-bit and see then. But nevertheless, the point is, is that if you do use uh, a external graphics card, uh, uh, um, then you will free up the CPU and uh, the software that you use will impact that. So let's try and use the Windows Media Player. Let's try Windows Media Player before and see if that solves the problem. So even with the uh, home classic at 64 bit i did install it i did try it it still has that jitter i'm not sure if it's just a setting i have used uh, home cinema on other computers playing 4k videos and i haven't had a problem so what the uh, conclusion of this video is is that uh, the software also makes a difference and also to answer the question if you do install a standalone graphics card it will free up the cpu considerably and this is very beneficial for people who use um, software like Kodi, you don't have to get a whole new computer. All you need to do is just upgrade your graphics card as I did in this video. So thanks for watching and I hope this was helpful. Cheers.